This week in Power Presence, we're going to be discussing one of my favorite topics, automating customer onboarding. Also, it can be used in many different approaches, not just for customers. It could be for employees, vendors, items, really anything you can think of. Let's go ahead and take a look. Today, the scenario that we're going to take a look at is actually a flow that I use internally for my customers. So anytime I have a new customer, I need to do a couple different things. I need to get them put into my system. I also need them to sign an MSA and an NDA. And I'm going to send that all via DocuSign or Adobe, just some type of electronic signature. So what this does is it allows me to have some really professional customer facing documentation as well. There's a bunch of different tech that's used in it, but it's all still really straightforward and simple. We're going to utilize Microsoft Forms, Power Automate, and Business Central, but you could really use any ERP or CRM system. And then um, I'm just showing Adobe and DocuSign, but you could, again, can use any electronic signature that has a Power Automate connector. So here's the flow. First, I have it set up so that whenever the form is submitted, we'll take a look and I have it approve the customer because I don't want just everything going into my system. Then as you can see, if it's approved, I just enter the new Business Central customer. Next is populating the MSA and NDAs with the Word documents and then sending it via Adobe Sign in this scenario. The first thing that you'll have to do in this flow is actually create the Microsoft form for it. So here I have all of the information I need for the documents that I want to populate. You'll also want to probably customize the theme to put it on brand for whatever your organization is. And also you need to specify that everyone can submit responses for it. And then finally, select how you're going to share the, the form with your customers or however you're going to disperse it. The next thing that you need to do is format your Word document that you want to have populated. You're going to have to enable the developer content in insert plain context control. Don't use the rich one that will not work. And you can use the properties to make sure that you put a tag on it so that you can see it on the back side. Essentially what you do is punch holes in the Word document so that you have a place to put them on in your Power Automate flow. As you can see, there's nothing really fancy going on here. We're just looking at a simple process and using a lot of products that are already incorporated in Microsoft Office and automating this process as a result by using something like Adobe or DocuSign for an electronic signature. It has saved me a lot of time. It has also improved uh, the errors that I make, right? There's less of them. And also I've improved my uh, cash flow because when my customer information coming in is right, then I get paid quicker. And hey, who doesn't like that? Keep following us for more Power Presence and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions on documents you'd like to automate for your processes, feel free to reach out to us at mary at worldmaxp2.com.